Hey there, Geminis. So this is our full moon week. We are having a Scorpio full moon on the 24th of April. And this is gonna be a time where we have some quite big transformations happen. So you might find that a particular situation in your life is shifting, it's changing in some way. You know, it's gonna look different after the full moon than it did before the full moon. We also have quite a lot of emotions going on beneath the surface. So you might find that you need a little bit of extra time just to kind of process some things or to do some journaling or, you know, just to get into Gemini mode and, you know, allow yourself to really like think your way through things as well as feeling those feelings. So to try and kind of like work things out. Okay, I'm feeling this or I'm feeling grief or I'm feeling sadness or I'm feeling kind of stuck or frustrated and then letting yourself feel that and then being like, okay, well, where does that come from and what can I do about that? So I'm gonna pick you a couple of cards here to see if we can get some more advice for your full moon. Okay, so we had the four of swords in reverse and the three of wands. Uh, so the four of swords in reverse suggests that some of you are not taking enough time to rest, enough time to sleep, uh, enough time of quiet and stillness. It might be that you're kind of quite busy and on the go and, you know, actually really in need of a nap or some meditation or just a kind of quiet moment in nature or, you know, in an armchair somewhere. Um, and with the three of wands, it's really because you're waiting on something. There is a kind of preoccupation here, you know, thinking about something too much or doing too much um, and not letting things come to you because actually when you are in that state of stillness you become magnetic and things tend to come to you even if they are ideas on what actions to take to get you closer to something that always comes when you are in stillness it rarely comes when you're kind of busy busy and doing everything you know so take that little piece of advice in mind for your Scorpio full moon and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you would like a reading, there are links below. Much love.